Vape news. Vape news. Troy and Jerry make me go. Planet of the Vapes present the Vape news. Wow. All right. So Black Friday is live and Planet of the Vapes presents the Vape news. Planet of the Vapes sale is live and going. There have been some big deals and big bundles. Uh, so go to Planet of the Vapes and check out their sale. Uh, if you want a big roundup, I got a big ass roundup. Actually, not really, uh, because I don't do the huge roundup, but it's a relatively good uh, representation of today's best Black Friday deals. Got them all sprawled out, including Planet of the Vapes stuff. Uh, they're all up on my website. Check them out. Check them out. All right. Yeah, what's going on with uh, with this thing? Tell us about this thing, Jerry. Dude, you remember the the vape bong and the Jaxels art and the cool vapes that you and I have? Like you and I, I have I have two over here from them that are cool. This uh, the the vape bong stuff. These guys at Jaxels art. I saw this and I was like, what the fuck? Their shit keeps getting cooler. Like, look at this thing, man. That's that's a vape, man. That's it's a, a vape? vape. I thought yeah. it was a chocolate fountain or something. Right. Look at her, man. She comes up, and takes a big rip off of it, oh, and it's not just a vape. Man. It's like I fuck you up, vape. Like, whoa, yeah. The airflow on this thing is so open, guys. We haven't talked about them in a while, but yeah, that, at least gotta go look at their shit. <laughs> I honestly didn't realize that it was like a vat bong. I thought that it was like a piece of art. Like the first twenty freaking times that I watched it, I was just staring at the bottom, I guess, and I, th- I thought that it was a fucking lamp. They got more too, like a couple of posts up or down on their back. There is good stuff. So go check out their page and uh, really? the vapes fucking rip. So yeah, like there's, there, there's another one uh, that, that uh, it was another one of the guy hitting it. Scroll down. Yeah. That look at that thing, man. And of course the eyeballs. Perfect. <laughs> eyeballs. Love that. The thing fucking rips. It's so wide open. Anyhow, I love it. They're doing cool shit, man. Check them out. Look at that. Fantastic. Uh, I wanted to, to talk about this this right here. Um, according to this study, uh, millennials are buying more pre-rolls than any generation uh, or all the other generations. And they're also the biggest spenders in that sector, like in the cannabis space. I uh, thought that was kind of fascinating like pretty well. what 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 do we define a millennials like i've i've heard different you know variations of what a millennial is and i don't know so can millennials currently age 28 to 43 according 28 to, to 43 now yeah according to uh, accounting for 45 percent of the three billion dollar market interesting yeah and it's pre-rolls Pre-rolls are fucking convenient. I, mean, I, th- I think I think pre-rolls might be a common add-on item, yep. but they're also a common like daily visit to the dispo thing. Like when people go to the dispensary multiple yep. times a week, and they're buying like two or three pre-rolls at a time. I think it's one of those one of those type of items. And I found the numbers is fascinating. Yeah, that is. I mean, like that's that's an interesting bulk of the of the goodies. Here's some interesting in September spending on pre rolls by a generation. Millennials, 103 million, 44 percent of total spending. Gen X was 56 million, uh, which is like 24 percent. It's like a half. It's like half of it. For me, it's all about the add-on factor you mentioned, bro. Like, I don't go there to get those personally, but there's such an there's always a deal on those. There's all they're always tempting, and there's just an easy thing to crack open the end of and pour into your vape. It's no work vaping. That's Joints are something you nice. Know, see, that's like the social aspect of, of weed that, that it's hard to bring people together yeah. around around the, anything but something passable. Right. I think there's like I think that's a real opportunity for vapes. Something that is focuses on on shareability. You know, bags are the best thing we've got right now for to, to come near that. So, save the flower. Everything is is going to pre roll and to, to vapes and to hash. 
You're making it. What's the next one? <laughs> uh, the next one over here. Uh, ease, ease might be coming back, or I guess they are. They are coming back. They were they were stated to go away. They had ran out of funding. They had gone bankrupt, and they were they had to, like to the end of the year basically uh, to find some some capital. And they have found ten million dollars as a, a capital infusion from Jeff Clark, big billionaire guy, uh, founder of the now defunct tech company Netscape. We used to always call Netscape Nut Scrape. As a web developer, we hated Netscape as a developer. Called it nut scrape. That's great. Yeah, so they they found ten million dollars, and uh, they did. So, so I didn't 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 even know that Ease was was had storefronts and delivery in Florida and Colorado. Me neither. That was news to me. I thought that it was just like a California thing. Well, hopefully, they're still here. I could check them out. Maybe I don't think they're anywhere near me. I've never seen them pop up on my search here locally. So the Series B funding will allow Ease to open, reopen 57 retail stores, 11 delivery hubs, and two production facilities. Okay, far out. They're going to rehire employees that terminated and bring on new workers. Fucking cool. So yeah, a lot of it is, is Florida. I didn't, I didn't even know they had stuff in Florida. It's one plant. One plant did some good shit. They were, they were a company here in Florida that... When they were here, that's where I went, man. And it was, you paid for it, but it was really good. Like, best dispensary weed I've ever had. Except yeah. the shit that we bought in California, and you fucking knocked my ass off with that shit. Of course, oh, doing for the Black Friday sick. You're a tall ass bit black. Uh, Zuck, Adam, whoever's in there. This is our community home. Terms of use, no exceptions, no mercy. Wait, wait, hold on. The world didn't want us. So we made a safe space for our community on Instagram where we could just be ourselves and share what we love. Isn't that the point of this place? Just look at John. John is a veteran who uses the plant to stay regulated, avoid harsher medication, and feel normal in a civilian world. Sharon has stage four melanoma. She uses the plant to relieve pain, to get her appetite back, and simply relieve the stress of dealing with cancer. And there's Steven. What up? Yeah, Steven just bought it from a literal store down the street, legally. Nice place, even had a cold plunge. Look, we just want to exist without the fear of being shut down. For digital policies to support and reflect our legal rights. To use products and materials that give us a moment of relief in a world of rising horrors. All of this just over a plan. Thank you for submitting an account review. The results are in. So that time of year, I wonder what Puffer Cool's doing for the. Wow, that was trippy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, what a message, man! What a, fucking kudos to Puffco for putting in that level of effort and, and writing that out. And uh, I, I hope people see that and and feel that that message. You know, like it fucking sucks to be have such a big business and a community uh, platform uh, susceptible to the, the robot auto detection and termination. That's also easily susceptible to uh, manipulation. Like all it takes is 10, 15 haters to go and su submit and find somebody on Fiverr to, to submit reports and then boom accounts terminated and businesses suffer people lose their fucking jobs over shit like that you know that was that was that was that ending was i didn't see that coming there was that was i've always thought their marketing was top notch like i mean they whoever's doing their shit is killing it so um yeah that was that was everything that was touching trippy uh rebellious all that shit man like that was that was because good i dug it man so um are they still what are they still down like i know he was gonna try to get it do you know didn't they get their site back 
No, they uh, they got their accountant back, uh, but yeah, they're they're being very throttled with the not throttled. They're they're, they're uh, limited with what they can say or do, and so many other accounts are are getting their their accounts deleted on Instagram because of cannabis. Like I'm scared to post stuff. Like everything's getting getting hit. You know, I lost my account on Instagram and I lost my account on YouTube. It hurts. It hurts. Yeah. Well, I didn't know they were going hard. I, I hardly post on mine, but I've been posting there for a long time. There's some cool shit on there. So, um, I would kind of suck if I lost that, but yeah, yeah, I'm probably, I'm probably suspect if they're going after cannabis, is that what they're doing? Well, See, that's the thing is their their message is unclear and their enforcement is uh, inconsistent. Like, I mean, I think vapes are are heavily targeted, at least in my experience okay. on YouTube. So we should do some content tonight on some puffco products and see what happens <laughs> yeah actually we, should we are pulling one out that's kind of funny let's bust out of the news this that was the news brought to you by planet of the vapes their black friday sales going on right now Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's a button. 